Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up in another couple of minutes. First, we're going to have the Tiger Financial News Network noontime update. Dow's up 22 at 25,911. Tried to rally earlier. It had a sharp um, pullback yesterday. It was earlier in the, in the session. I know pre-market it was down then it came back and now it was running up and then it had a, quite a sharp drop and now it's down uh, from the high, but uh, of 26,109, it's at 25,900, up 10. This is going to be a really, as I said, this is a very important week for a number of aspects. Let me show you. The S&P, so the dreaded H to the lowercase m pattern that we've been looking at in the Dow continues. The S&P has had a second arch formation, but it's larger than the first one. And that says if it closes above that arch that was made on the left side, that's really a positive. And if it can go a little higher than that, there's a chance it could retest the previous high, which is 32, 33.33. Not the all-time high, but the previous high that was made in June. Well, this is going to be very important because over the next, what's today, Wednesday, let's give it until Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning. If early next week, the S&P is underneath 3,100, uh, that's going to be very important. That's going to suggest that it is back into that arch formation. So I'm going to talk in my show coming up at the Tiger Technicians Hour. I'm going to talk about this uh, pattern that I call the dark news cloud cover, something that I, I discovered a long time ago. And I'll talk about it because how the market responds to news is really important. Look at the QQQ. And as I said to my subscribers to my opening call, I said, we're watching this really closely. This is a leg D, probably going to make a peak D today. We'll see what happens. Um, the high today was 259.62. The high yesterday was 260.88. Yep, it's a peak deep, but the MAGD is good. The stochastic is good. The nine period is well over the 14 period. Wow, this is going to be tough stuff. If you're looking at the IWM, the IWM is the Russell 2000. It's very weak. It's in that dreaded H pattern. Second time, this is a lowercase uh, M that goes to this arch formation. It is underneath the 14 period moving average. What a divergence we're looking at. If you're looking at gold, <clears throat> gold is up sharply. It's in leg D at 1822. It's gone higher than that one to one. Oh no, this is exactly the, the oh, that is the perfect extension. I'll talk about that. It's a little above that right now. It is up 12 at 1822. This is a fascinating market. We'll look at Amazon, we'll look at all the key stocks. I'll be right back in a few minutes. Hope you can stay. Hope to see you in a few minutes.